Good morning sheep fans, today we are bringing in the Gimmers, going to give them their first Heptivac jag, get them on the system, Heptivac P Plus, it's a vaccination covers 7 or 8 different things, they need 2 jags, they need a jag, say first jag today and then in 4 to 6 weeks they get a second jag, that puts them on the vaccination system, it means they just need a top up booster, Every lambing time, every spring, they'll get a booster four to six weeks before the lamb. So we'll give them a first one today and they'll get them in again and give them a second one. We are just going to send Meg round them. Come by. Shh. Come by. Shh. Shh. So these are my homebred hogs from last year, so these are last year's lambs kept through the winter they've been clipped and various other jobs done to them and they've been put up here on the grass they're looking very well I might actually sell a handful of achievement meals, I've just not decided yet we shh we shh so, they're running there we shh I see, she's just, she's just getting a bit lazy there's one with a long tail there, it looks horrific, I missed it at marking. I say I missed it, it's probably the llamas, but... Anyway, bring these in, get them done. If you're watching the video, click that subscribe button. It's a big boost when I've seen the numbers go up all the time, and they're going up quite quick just now. You guys are great, you're leaving good comments. I, I really enjoy the comments and having a bit of back and forth, a bit of chat. Feel free to challenge me on anything, ask me any questions, because sometimes I might say things that are wrong, or slightly inaccurate. I'm just making it up as I walk about this field here. Shearing season is more or less finished. I've got a big day tomorrow, actually. Big day tomorrow and Friday. I've got about 1,500 Jacobs with the uh, Highland Agricultural Contractors. I think they're called. Brian McLean. I'm going to go and shear with him. I don't see that many Jacobs very often. In fact, it's probably the only farm in Scotland with that many Jacobs. Tell me if I'm wrong. So we're going to do them tomorrow. But wet day jobs, we'll tackle these hogs. Got this lot in here, not a lot to do. Once you open the Hectivac bottle, you've got to be pretty quick using it, it's a live vaccine. There you Meg. Like June. It's a live vaccine, so you don't want to leave it too long. We have Lizzie here helping us again. Enjoyed the lambing so much, just couldn't stay away. In tremendous fettle. I had said I still might do it. I might sell 20 TV meals just for just for the vlogging. Just got quite like, I'd quite like to, you know, it's nice, be nice to produce your own gimmers and sell them. It's here they go. Plus, obviously, gimmer prices are well just now. What is that? Hello, mate. So this is my Heptivac setup, simple wee setup, hang it from the neck, you get this in the pack, you get a gun, probably get a gun for free, I don't know, maybe I had to pay for it. And work away like this, you do get guns with a box sits on top of it, and then there's nothing around your neck, and you're maybe a bit freer, but I actually don't like them, because I just find that when I'm working with sheep, the sheep always seem to bash the bottle and snap the gun, or it's just not as handy, even when you're finished with it you need to like sit it somewhere, whereas this I just hook it around like that and I can go and get the next pen in, I just prefer this this system, you guys suit yourself. I've had a look at sheep, they have been had click extra so they should be fine, it has been very wet and it is quite bad for flies up here so we are going to crow vect them, to keep the job right, it's, it's £65 for a bottle of crow vect. And the way prices are just now, you could fairly say these sheep be worth about 120 to 140 pounds, these gimmers. So for the sake of a bottle of Crovex, 65, it won't even take a full bottle to do, there's only 60 here. So for a few pennies, just to keep them right and keep the flies off them, it, it's worth it. Um, I see there's a couple of wee, I mean this just could be nothing, but a couple of wee dark patches there showing, and there's nothing on there just now. They're still cleaning the skin. It just makes me worry a wee bit, because they're away from home, and I'd rather just put the Crovex on them. Prevention's better than cure. Better to get ahead of the game. 
can cover them. I'm not saying click, wouldn't cover them for the 19 weeks. I'm just a worrier. I'm just a worrier. I've always been that way. These ones, the orange tag sheep, they're my own. Cheviot males, orange tags here. The purple tags, when we're horns here, they're ones that I actually bought off a boy, aka Archie, for a, a very good price. Love my meals to have horns on them. But, uh, oh, oh, steady last. Hello, Meg. Outside. Outside. What are you doing? The big thing is working here, there's a wee damp patch here. It's take your time, keep the dog out of the way, try and get them in without them slipping. Head to back this time of year is quite good because they've not much wool on them. Short wool, easy to get a needle in. You have to see what you're doing. When they get longer wool in the winter, or like pre-lamb, when you do them, the wool is usually longer. It's a bit more fittery. I don't know about you, but I hate working with needles. Like I always end up sticking it in my hand at some point with the sheep. There's a big strong sheep jumping about. Anyway, it's not my favourite job. Probably one of my favourite jobs. But it's a job that needs to do. Under the skin at the side of the neck. Fine. Make sure your gun's filling up every time. I'm working okay. This has been sitting all over. These, these gimmers are getting about 40 mil or Crovec just now. Should cover them six to eight weeks. I like how Crovec says it covers them six to eight weeks, whereas Click just says it's 19 weeks. So it would say to me that Crovec's not that confident in the coverage. So I'm going to say it covers them for six weeks, which should take them to the end of September, more or less. Which hopefully is enough time. It will be enough time. It's Scotland. It'll be Baltic by October. This video might be good as well, I feel like I sell these gimmers, I can like tag this video in it and say look, I actually did heptivac them. Obviously you'll need to see the second one to believe I put them in the system, but always wary of buying through the ring, you know, folks say, I'm not, not that folk wouldn't, but you know, it's easy to say they're on the system. Like I could just say a new watch. Alright, there's uh, 28 cheap meal here on the heptivac system. See how easy it is, but I've not actually done it, yet.
the next part of this fantastic setup we have here is the foot bath. I work too hard. I know you're thinking that right now, aren't you? You're thinking, Cammy, you do far too much work to get Lizzie to do something. I feel the same way. So, fit, ba fit bath. We say fit bath. The rest of the world probably says foot bath. Foot bath sits perfectly in between two wrapper hurdles. If you're using the properly, the appropriate U frame. We then bring with us, just because it's easier if we're working away from home, bring with us two, two formalin tubs, two empty formalin tubs filled with water. And that's the perfect amount of water to put in here. We obviously then mix it one part formalin to 19 parts water, always. So two of these is a good amount. I'll put the other one in and we'll add some formalin. Yeah, oh my! Uh, that formalin? Don't do that, don't put your finger on it to see if it's formal and that's just it. I knew it wasn't. What's that? Mmm, -hmm. nah. It's no water either though. Aye, two of these and then. Guys, if you're doing this, clearly mark your containers with what's in them. For safety reasons. And there's two of them. Two of them. Two of them how many litres? 50. The 25 litre drums. 50 litres, 50, 19 into 50 is what? Two and a half. So two and a half litres out of this. Take you down to there. When we splash more. There you go. Two and a half litres, exactly. I say always, ideally when you're working with formula and you want to be able to run them through the foot bath onto a hard standing, which is what we have here. So we'll just run them through. Foot bath through the wrappers and into here, and Meg will just stay where she is. Lie down. So that's us finished with the gimmels there. We'll just stick them back out to the grass. We'll come back in four to six weeks and give them their booster. Four weeks, ideally. Give them their booster. They're looking quite well. Obviously, the winds, there's three there with lambs. Again, that was the issue at the wintering, June born lambs. But it's taking their toll on the ewes a bit. You can see they're slightly bit leaner, but on the whole, they're looking quite good. I'm quite pleased with them. That's us finish here guys, just like that, half an hour's work, magic.